This question is why it's so important to start skipping around at the ends of these sections when the timer is running out. You really, everyone should be able to get this right. All you need to know is the basics behind the ideas of median and range. So yes, we have this data set. They're telling us to increase all the values by 56. So everything is gonna shift, right? There's no uh, imbalance here. Everything is shifting by the same amount. So take that point at 26, for example. That's gonna shift upward by 56. So 26 plus 56 is 82. But the lower points down here at 22 are also gonna shift up. So 56 plus 22 is now gonna get us to 78. And since range is given by the maximum minus the minimum, right? What was our original? Our original was 26 minus 22. So that's a range of four. But our new is 82 minus 78. That's also a range of four. So the ranges are gonna stay consistent because everything is shifting. So the range is always this difference between the maximum and the minimum. If all the points are shifting by the exact same amount, the difference between them will not change. So that gets rid of what here? Um, uh, we have equals, that's good. B is gone, that's greater than. This is equal, that's good. This is greater than, that's gone. Okay, now the only question is what happens to the median? Well, the median is the middle number. And, and so 24 kind of looks like it. I, I don't think it actually is. I think it's 23 just because of the way the dots are um, kind of spread out. But think about it, right? If the middle, even in either case, if the median now is 23 and then we added 56 to it, then it's going to become 79. So that will affect, that, that shift will affect the median because a, the median is a measure of a specific data point, right? So that data point has moved, then now that's going to change what the median is, what it's measuring. Whereas the range is kind of the comparison between two data points. And, and if they both move, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep that comparison the same. They're relatively the same. Um, so that means that choice C is going to be our answer because that says that the median of B is greater than the median of A um, and that is not the same, uh, they're not going to be the same, so they're not going to be equal. Uh, this is not, there's not, I showed work here, but I don't think I would have if this were an actual test and that's why this is the kind of question to skip to because if you truly understand both of these concepts, this is not a, a time consuming question, um, but it will get you some points when you're kind of crunched for time. So it's definitely worth it to get this kind of stuff and not worry about those long, tedious algebra ones. Yeah, it'd be great if you could get those too, but our, our goal here is just to maximize points. So you got to maximize correct answers. So feel free to skip around so you can get as many right as possible.